And we all know what happened in 1906. The big earthquake struck San Francisco. And as, uh, as with much of the city that was destroyed, St. Mary's Hospital was destroyed. However, not a single patient or staff member um, died as a result of the earthquake. The patients were taken by lift uh, down to the ferry boat um, and then brought over to Providence Hospital in Oakland. And that hospital had started just a short time prior to the 1906 earthquake. So the patients were brought over there for uh, shelter and safety. After the earthquake, San Francisco had many what were called tent cities. You had a tent city for lost and found, you had a tent city for uh, food and shelter, you had tent cities for um, uh, health care and emergency care. And the sisters, along with the soldiers in the Presidio, for the second time, were asked to man the um, emergency care right across the street from St. Mary's Hospital, where we are located now in Golden Gate Park. At the time of the earthquake, there was one building uh, that housed the students, the medical students, for the University of California College of uh, Medicine. And those students would come down the hill to Golden Gate Park and practice their medicine on a daily basis. Um, after a period of time, the um, third St. Mary's Hospital, uh, actually in 1911, the third St. Mary's Hospital opened up on Hayes Street right at Stanyon. Now the interesting thing about the third hospital uh, being built in San Francisco, one year prior to the earthquake in 1905, the sisters had purchased the land at the corner of Stanyon and Hayes, where we are today. And the reason they did that was because they knew that with industry changing and the, um, the part of San Francisco that um, St. Mary's was located in, the primary uh, arena would be that of industry. And so it was not a place for a hospital to be where they were located. So they moved off of that land and they, well, we were shaken off of that land. And the original purchase was out at the area where Point Lobos is located. And that land was purchased in 1904. And shortly before uh, beginning the building, uh, the sisters along with the physicians were, it was highly recommended that they not move the third St. Mary's Hospital to that site because there would be nothing out there but fog and water with the Pacific Ocean. And so then it was in 1905 that the sisters purchased the land that we're on today. In 1911, uh, they opened up the uh, third St. Mary's Hospital with the entrance being on Hayes Street. Now, I want to bring you back just a little bit of history before that. It was in the Bryant Street, Second and Bryant Street Hospital that St. Mary's began a school of nursing. And it was probably the first school of nursing in California because when the sisters applied to the state for nursing accreditation standards, there were none. Those standards were not forthcoming until the early 1930s. And so the sisters went on to write what they would use as standards for their school of nursing. And the school of nursing continued to function at St. Mary's until 1957, 58, when the school moved up to the University of San Francisco, where it is now a four-year baccalaureate program. And it's my understanding that the, the University of San Francisco School of Nursing is the largest school up at USF, and it has just begun its doctoral program as well. St. Mary's over the years has been the recipient of many, many nurses that were trained not only at St. Mary's, but at USF. And I believe that says a lot about the quality of care that we have been providing. When the, second Saint, the third St. Mary's Hospital opened up, it functioned until about 1976, when the current tower that we are in now was put up and we moved into that tower um, in, in, I believe it was like August or September of 1976. Through those early years, St. Mary's had many firsts. When you are the first hospital in San Francisco and perhaps even in California, you are the first in many things. So it was during the early years where St. Mary's um, was the first to be granted uh, tumor board privileges for the stu study of cancer. Um, we were the first hospital um, in California to uh, do the total hip uh, by Dr. Richard Welch and the second in the United States. 
We were the second hospital in the United States to open up an AIDS dementia unit, which functioned for many, many years here at, at St. Mary's. Uh, we were the first hospital to do, in terms of current research, the um, uh, uh, invention or the intervention of pain, spinal pain, with the surgical procedure using the uh, X-stop implant. St. Uh, Mary's, uh, back in the 1950s, was the first hospital in San Francisco to begin an inpatient adolescent and pediatric mental health program. And that program has functioned throughout the years. We still have it today. However, because of um, policy changes in healthcare, and specifically those relating to uh, the mental health care of adolescents and uh, pediatrics, Macaulay Behavioral Science now consists of an inpatient adolescent program. Uh, for the past 27, 29 years, we've been working with the Unified School District of San Francisco where the students who are unable to participate in the classroom setting, the normal classroom setting, come to St. Mary's Macaulay Behavioral Science where they receive care for their mental health needs and also the curriculum continues for them uh, with their academic, uh, regular academic school year. Uh, there is a graduation that takes place for high school seniors here at St. Mary's and it's, it's a wonderful experience and we've been doing this now for about 27, 28 years.